gonna lay down my burden Friday 
He's here to pull you out of everything that you 
can't get him a mess, but I'm just feeling good. Amen. I'm talking about a God that wrote your name on the Lamb Book of Life before the foundation of the world. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about a God that found yeah. wow. There were seven unknown founders to the world. Yeah. Wow. Come on, son. Yeah. I'm going to make sure I'm reading 
that right. Is that what it said? Huh? Amen. Come on. Read that again. And behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at me in Pharisees' house, come on, bro, in what house?
But here you got the balance. You pick up that point and pull first him. I want to touch the listeners back here, please. Uh, so good to be good with you. Yeah. Anybody who sing that and dance like that, my cousin brother Kelly. So good to be a Christian. Yeah. What would you be or do tonight if you was not a Christian? Can you imagine how it feels? That's the truth. But I, I, you know, I'm a funny person because I have a right, because I, I, I can prove that. But the better said we all have our own peculiarity. Is that right? Yeah. But I have to think, oh, well, I'm not to think. I want to ask the church tonight, if y'all don't mind. Why is it when we come to church that we have to look sad and down and beat down? Is that a, is that a problem with that? Are we forgetting where we at? Are we forgetting where we at? I'm just asking the point before I go to the How many of you act like we just tie up, pull down, and beat down? Are we forgetting where we at? All right. It's not we in the house of God.
Right. And when he found it, man, he broke the hips. He held a whole imitation. Come on. And he said, my master, my master had me to stretch all over for you. And I found it out. All right. Did y'all hear me? Yeah. And when he did, and when he did, he walked away half. Yeah. And when he brought down his money, he didn't walk was wrong with that boy. What's wrong with it? He didn't walk was wrong with that boy. He said, Green Wall had the greatest opportunity yeah. of everybody. I have a message for my master of oh, please forgive me of my sin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But no one can say that. No. It's amazing how people can walk in the presence of God unrecognized. His face, how the presence of God is unrecognized to some people. Here the young boy walks over here in the presence. Doing. 
She was doing the Father's bidding. She was washing his feet. Watching his dirty, steady feet. And when she got to Washington, she must be doing a lot of crying. Because when she got to Washington, you know what she did? She took her long hair that was not cut, that not trimmed, oh. not shaped up in the bag, All right. and trying to feed off. Preach, brother. She had enough hair to get the job done. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Preach, brother. I think she had enough to get the job done. Yeah. Every spring played a major role. Yes. Try it, I have to try it, 
after trying, after trying, what he's trying to do is get you to make a partner with him. Yes, and if yeah. you make a partner with him, he'll ride out something that'll help you. Yes, he will. Before the word, he'll ride out a prescription yeah. that'll heal you. There's one thing about this toxin here, one thing about this inoculation here, it will not kill you, but it will kill you. It will kill everything he knew that's not like him. Hallelujah. Why? Because he has the right antidote because he's the master chief of all the master chief, brother and sister. There's never been a chief like this man here. If there's a sin sick person, man, boy, girl, if you sick tonight, there's a medicine cabinet here tonight for you. Yes, but you got to make a point. That's right. I mean, if you're sick, you'll make a point for the doctor. That's right. You'll call the doctor and say, look, my name is Charles um, L. Mullins, and I'm, I need to see the doctor. That's right. Tell somebody. Yeah. I know I have a need 
somebody that you know can help you. Because from, from, the, from the next few minutes when you get home, you don't know whether or not you're going to need him or not. Amen. You might be because you don't know what's on the outside. That's right. Huh? But God does. God know, brother sister. That I come, brother sister. He have he have angels to watch all over the dog because of what he has already done for them. He will not let you go, brother sister. He will not turn you loose, brother sister. He will not say I give up on you. That's one thing about God. God will not give up on you if you don't give up on you. All right. Thank you, Lord. Right on to the party. He said, went to the party, he had a speech. I mean, they was having a great time the way they think about it. But guess what, though? He was right on time. Huh? He was right on time. And guess what? He had somebody waiting on him. The lady was right there. Amen. The sister was right there to wash him down. Amen. To get him ready to refuse a Pharisee. He refused Pharisee so good that he made him one. Huh? And when the Holy Spirit comes in to the building sometimes, everybody sometimes will think that uh, he, he talked about me. He uh, yeah, the Holy Spirit talked about you. Why you exempted for being talked about? Me. All right. <laughs> you so special that God takes me to you. Come on. Come on. I mean that's what we're here for. Thank you. Somebody Lord. told you, yeah, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> if God can't discern him, what does it do? God knows everything about us all. Amen. And God knows whether or not you are dirty bird. He knows whether or not he knows everything about us all. He knows, he knows everything about everybody. Whether you live right, whatever you do, God knows. That's how you need to make a point. Because you get making if you keep going and going. Because sooner or later, Brother Brown said, if you keep going like you're going, a spirit will come in and come and get you. Yes. I'm getting ready to call Brother Brown said, a spirit will come and get you. And when the spirit comes and gets you, the first thing you do, you put it on the church. Right. That's right. So I don't know the people that know me to start with. Amen. They weren't doing this fooling me. Amen. I ain't know nothing they live living right. Mm. Speak loud. And they don't do this talk about me. They don't love me. Ain't nobody love me. I, I, I need to go ahead and get them out of the way. Bro, so don't you see that the devil talking That's to you? All, bro. That's him. The That's devil, him. hey, the devil got you and I'm taking you. And then you that old common uh, gullible word, he's rapping to you. Yes, sir. He got you. Strong rap. And then as soon as he get through with you, brother and sister, you wash up, you want to go in the little corner and drop your head. Man, get a hold of yourself. Amen. Don't you get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. Ain't nobody thinking about you. Amen. If you ain't praying for somebody, ain't nobody worried about you. Amen. And if you can't pray for yourself, then something wrong with you anyway. Hey. Amen. That's what's wrong with a lot of people. They want the preachers to do all the prayer and they do all the sin. When you start doing the prayer for yourself. Yes. Hey. You get down and beat the floor in the wall.
I mean, if you ain't paying back, don't worry about it. It's coming, though. You're going to wish you had a made appointment. That's right. You're going to pray one day that you would have made a part with him. And I pray that it don't be too late. Oh, oh my. God give you an opportunity. One of the greatest opportunities that that young boy had was standing right there before him. And he turned it down because he was so eager to kill him. He was so eager just to tell, <coughs> tell, tell something somebody else said and lost out on his own salvation. The boy had a right to back then and he was dropped down on his knees. He said, Lord, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Lord. I don't know what they got taught for you, but please forgive me. I don't feel right about this anyway, but please forgive me. If you will forgive me, I, I, I can go back and tell them I ain't not to see you, but I'd be alive, but please forgive me anyway. Huh? <coughs> you want to hear something, the church, brothers and sisters? People quit saying, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. People do not like repentance because repentance will bring people on the conviction. And when a person gets on the conviction, it does something for them. Nobody, I mean, nobody don't like that. Because it breaks down the body. It breaks down the old spirit that, that the world gets, brothers and sisters. And when it breaks it down, you can't do the things that you used to do. That's it. It's hurting. That's right. Amen. You can't, you can't hide, steal, cheat, and fornicate. Yeah. Why? Because of another spirit has been took over. Right? And, and what it is, it's a Christ-like spirit. God is trying to tell us something. Brother John will come clean. Let huh? me know. Brother Wallace come clean. The church come clean. Thank Everybody in the back come clean. You know how many clean people that will be? By the time we get up here, brother and sister, I mean the church will be on fire. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Oh, no. Not so much the temple up and down. Amen. We see a lot of that in Pentecost. I'm talking about for the soul. Yes. Amen. Amen. I seen people in the Pentecost and come back right back out, chewing the back of spitting and all that, smoking it, and then all that go and get a fifth of wine and get high. Yeah. Right. Mm. Let's see it all. That's true. <coughs> I don't believe it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, well, you're looking at one. No. <coughs> I, I, I keep looking at one. No. Speaking in tongue, no. and then as soon as the service gets over, we just go get a fifth of wine. Then we, then we do it, honey. Right in the wilderness. Oh, <laughs> dear, that's what's wrong. Right in the wilderness. No, I took us out in the wilderness. Huh? <laughs> but we thought we were right. Because that's what we were taught, you know. No, we know better. We just want to do it. Amen. People know better. That's what's wrong now. We got to quit saying people don't know no better. Yeah, they know better. You know what you're doing wrong.
I got to get this dick out of here. That's right. That's right. Now, if you don't, he gonna destroy it. Amen. That's right, brother. It will destroy it. You know what I'm It took a lot of people out of church. And people were born. I mean, people were born. People, I mean, all the pastors had come to him and told the pastors, say, you wrong for doing that. You wrong for preaching to them people like that. You know he did? He shook it off. You know he, you know he did? He was real bad shape. He was living the night. You know what? Bad influence. <coughs> bad. I'm finna go. Bad influences will ruin a Christian. That's right. <coughs> bad influences will ruin young, intelligent young men and young women. <coughs> bad influence. Everybody is not your friend. Whoa. Huh? Everybody don't want to be your friend. All they don't want to do is pull you down. That's all, man. Speak low. Huh? And when they get you down, it's just like a scapegoat. You get right out of the way. And you started falling and falling and falling and wondering how in the world you got in condition that you in. Right. And what it was? It was so called friend. Amen. Huh? But a Christian, before you get like that, you know what you do? You, call, you make a point. You make a point. Something ain't right with me. Something ain't right with me. When something ain't right with me, nobody ain't gonna have to tell me. When I'm going through with something, I know what to do. I know to pray fast and get out of the way. Yes. Huh? Because that's the only way I can live. I cannot live without this mess. That's what I do. I cannot survive without this mess. I cannot survive without being in church. Yes. I just can't. And ain't no other Christian can. Ain't nobody can say, well, I'll be all right. Yeah. You may think you'll be all right. But listen, you hear know what he said? He told us, already nine o'clock. Listen. Oh, have a great time. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless this is the brother Hicks. Right here, take what you, take what he gives you and fight. Everybody in here. God has given every one of us in here something to fight with. Everybody in here. Everybody that comes to sound my voice that claim or call yourself a Christian, God has given you something to fight with. Yes, sir. But you got to put your foot down and fight your enemy. You got to fight him, sister. What is sister? You got to fight him. We got to, we got to fight him, sister Billy. Because he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> He's here. I mean, you got to fight him. What is the unit? 12858. Say what he gives you and fight sickness and sin. But, you might, you might. Take what he gives you and fight sickness and sin. Take what he gives you and fight sickness and sin. And sin. And sin. And sin. That's another number one. Hallelujah. Fight unbelief away. Fight all that unbelief away. Tell the devil he is alive. Yes. You don't want to do that. You want to pat the devil on the back. <laughs> Christ said he has overcome the world. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is the power of Christ in you than that sickness that you have on your body tonight. Yes, yes. Hey, everybody got a sickness. Come on now. You find something. Amen. You find something. Somebody fighting something. You fighting something, I don't care. Young or old, whether you realize or not, you're in a fight. Amen. And somebody, some gonna win. Come on. 
And guess what? Nine times out of ten, we don't want to go through these things, but I'm getting ready to close. But guess what, Brother Brown? I preach the message on your contract. And guess what, my brother? You can't help what God draws That's right. in the contract. That's right. You got to fight, brother. Right or wrong, you got to get, get through with that because God drew it up. And some of the other things that we go through with God ordained it that way. Huh? And he ordained it that way for you to call and come. Lord, have mercy. He ordained it that way for you to make a point. Yes. Huh? And guess what? He's standing, he's standing by. Wait, no. And guess what? And then it's the same song of long distance Jesus on the main line. Give me. Tell him what you want. Tell him what he want. Tell him what you want. Amen. Amen. Praise the power of Christ and that little beset sin that you can't overcome. What is it that you can't overcome? Take your time. What is it that a Christian cannot overcome? I like that. I like how quiet you Think about it. What is it that we can't overcome? Huh? Think about it, brother. Everybody, think about it. What is it that you can't overcome? Huh? So the mother and I reached to have our little pause, and she will win and I will win. <coughs> Huh? I just made up my mind. Let's quit fussing. <laughs> but I can't wait. <laughs> so you know what you said? Oh, you don't hear me? I said, no, not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not tonight. And you know what she do? She do like this man here. You know what I do? We, we, we have a big old cane size bed. I get real nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and she says something like, you know, I say, I love you too. <laughs> That's how you give them. But what I'm doing, and what we're doing, yes, we keep on, we're turning into another plan. Yes. And that's all that plan, then it turn on, turning into saying, well, I'm, I'm going to give in. That's it. Go to sleep. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. That's it. Just that simple. Huh? I, I don't sleep with that on me. No. I refuse to sleep with any sin on me. Uh, amen. That's all right. Did you know that you could slip out of here with that on you? That's right, bro. Other than all that on you, how in the world you going to face God with all that on you? Oh, huh? tell it. Huh? I, sometimes, sometimes I cheat. I'm 
dollars $25 top. 25 cent shirt. Only thing I do is pull them in the cleaner. I go to the goodwill. Hi, <coughs> brother Brown. You know when you went down in the hall? Yes, sir. I go, where did I get my clothes? Yes, sir. The goodwill. Go two times two. I got the on the plate. Only thing I do is pull them in the cleaner. $25 top. Huh? It ain't the clothes that wasn't moving in the clothes. <laughs> it's a character. Huh? Now my shoes, now I refuse to wear plastic shoes. <laughs> And my eyes are funny. I'm going to, if I'm going to get some glass, I'm going to get some real. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Praise the power of Christ. Listen now, we finna go home. Give me a little humor. Don't mean no harm. Just like a little bit of sin that you can't overcome. Yeah, Greater is the power of Christ. Yeah, yeah. Greater is the power of Christ. Yeah. Than that little besetting sin that you can't overcome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That you can't overcome. Get them little, little teeny pops. Get them little teeny things. It's not the great big thing. Get them little teeny things. Get yeah. three young and old children off. The little teeny thing that we try to hide from God. And when we try to hide them, before you know it, the thing that escalated, then it's big. Then you can't help. I suggest that we make a appointment with Him. Lord Jesus. And if we make a appointment with Him, let's kill the thing. We'll do it all we have. God want all of us to be happy. Why can't we be happy? I want to be happy. Why can't we be happy? Why can't we be healed and loving dog and in good friendship? So what we all need to do for one another is call and have a point. Follow with him. He stands by. And the more we pray, the Bible says that we should pray deep for one another. Yes, sir. And the more we pray for one another, the more that individual, that brother and sister, that they can overcome. Yes. The more we pray for our pastor, the more he can overcome. Yes. The more we pray for brother Mike. Yes, sir. The house of God. 
Get ready for an attainment of the Holy Spirit. I, I probably didn't read that right. Will you read that for me, please? This is what he said. And then what we need today is to clean it up. Listen to Sing Club. I hope y'all getting something out of this. Yes. I am. Oh, it'll help me. Work seven in the city. What we need today is a clean it up. It's a clean it up. The house of God, get ready for an entertainment of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Are you all that want the entertainment? If you want the entertainment, get the Holy Ghost. You want some entertainment? Get the Holy Ghost. Get ready for an entertainment of the Holy Spirit. That's what he said. The power of the Lord Jesus. We've asked and begged and pleaded and then turn him out when he comes. Hey, hey. Amen. True. Well appearing. There said Jesus, dirty foot, stinking. Nobody paid any attention to him. Nobody. And he was left his place up there where he was ministering to the people. Walked two days down through that sun. Come, had to start a little early because he he never misses an appointment. No. No. Thank you, Jesus. He is here tonight. You have an appointment. You have an appointment tonight. Never forget. Because he never misses an appointment. But if you want something done tonight, he's here to grant your need. And guess what? The only thing he's not going to do, he's not going to be none. You have all right, brother. So we all are here on the might. We will right back out the same door. Don't even worry about it. Just remember. You know what he said? I got the book. He said, that's what? He said, but he will meet you on the end. He will meet you at the end. And then you wish he had a meal for the way. If you walk out of here tonight and have a meal for the way down and happen to meet them and he was telling you to make a point for them, your brother will be on your own head. Yes. Let us stand our feet. Fight our way back. So guess what? 
who will not, the few will not lose nobody. Nobody will be left behind. That is nothing but the truth. You belong to you belong. Christ, brother Mike. May God bless you. 
to pray for the ministry. Yeah. You just don't know what a ballot is sometimes. Well, you got to fight and get yourself out of the way so that the Holy Spirit can speak directly to your heart. Yeah. Amen. Well, let's be praying for Brother Gills and amen. Let's keep him lifted up. Amen. Yeah. You can see that thing is really trying to tie down on him, but yeah. the devil is a liar. Come on. Amen. And I, I, I believe that you can speak that to yourself tonight. The devil is a liar. Amen. When peace like a river of death, my way. When sorrow like sin Jesus, God, once again, you came, Lord God. And God, 